On October 18th, 1986, Ellis was arrested for disturbing in uh, public order, uh, disturbing of the peace. During his arrest, he was attacked. Uh, he attacked the police officer for this. He was ordered to spend seven months in county jail. In May 1987, almost immediately after his release, he was rearrested for theft and sent back to prison for a year. However, he was released on parole after nine months. In November 1988, he was caught in an attempt of carjacking uh, during which he was uh, harmed. He harmed the arresting officer, which uh, uh, to get on this real quick. Uh, when working in a correctional officer, any time an inmate touches you, it is uh, considered a, a harmful touch. I mean, yes, it's ridiculous. And if you want to get extra charges, you can get extra charges for that. And it does happen a lot. And if you're thinking, oh, that, that's ridiculous. Why would you do that? To uh, You want to keep a certain distance between uh, inmate and officers uh, when working corrections because they could come up to you and stab you. But for this sentence, uh, for uh, this sentence, he was sentenced for two years for a vol uh, violating his parole. When he was released on January 9th, 1990, Ellis joined a drug trafficking ring, the Brothers of Struggle. Okay, that's an interesting name. Who frequently engaged in rivalry with other gangs based in Milwaukee. In June, he was arrested for disturbing, uh, distributing drugs and convicted in November 1990 of the charges. 